everybody, it's Nicole with Stargazer Soaps. I am making my second batch of soap for the evening. It feels so nice to be soaping just for fun. I mean, I'm, I am working on restocks, but I'm playing with new techniques. I'm not following the same rules that I have previously. And it just, it feels, it's kind of fun. So what I'm doing, this technique that I'm trying, I'm going to attempt the butterfly swirl. I don't know if it's going to work with the fragrance oil that I chose. Because the last time I used this fragrance, I had, I almost had soap on a stick. This is my Hydra soap that I'm remaking here. Um, but I did the thermal heat just a second as I'm thinking here. The thermal heat transfer method for my oils. That's where you take the hot life solution and you pour it over your uh, hard oils and stir until it's all melted. Whoops, I almost poured it into my fragrance. Don't do that. All right, this one I think is a little shy. I'm having a hard time seeing because of the color inside. Let's look at the front. They don't need to be exact, but I want them to be fairly close. And that's pretty close. They have more white than anything else, but that's okay because I can pour some in to this batch if I need to. is I want it to be a very light blue of whoa of one of the blues that I have here already. Boy that went far all the way back on the window. I'm glad it went backwards and not all over me. last one over here is going to be white. Don't have my fragrance in yet. Uh, it is a water type fragrance. It is my favorite one out of all the different fresh water scents that I've tried. And no, I'm not going to share. <laughs> Gotta do the research. Figure out which one it is. And just because I like it doesn't mean that everybody else will. But it is a um, one of my number one sellers. Soap on my arm. And I put it in my lotions, my scrubs, and my soap. And it fairly flies off the shelves. I think that's a good color. Okay. That is just this blue here with white in it. And some teal or turquoise. I'm hoping that these are going to have some good definition. And dark blue. I'm wondering if I should make my should make this a little wider. I think I will. Okay. Good. Okay, let me get this bad boy out of here. So I just tried making um, a butterfly swirl. If it was successful or not, I have no idea. I really started to overthink the technique as I went along and second guess what I was doing. So, oh, I thought I saw something in there. No, it's just some color that hadn't been mixed in.
spatula. One too many. And fingers crossed that this doesn't go absolutely crazy on me. I mean, the last time I made this, it was just insane how fast it set up. So, this might not be a butterfly swirl. This might be a scoop and smack. Try to beat all the air bubbles out of it. I'm going to try to work fairly quickly. This is a time where I wish I had opt octopus arms or go-go gadget arms. I do believe last time I may have put the fragrance in first and then my color and then changed colors and stick blended the snot out of it. So that could be... So far, so good. I get asked a lot about where I get my colors, where I get my supplies, where I get my fragrances. And I know I'm not the only soaper that does. I mean, everybody does the soaps. And um, I'll share some things, my favorite suppliers, but really recipes, I've talked about this before, recipes are something that we have worked to perfect for our business and um, I don't share my particular recipes. There are plenty of people out there who do and I don't share exactly where I get all of my fragrances. Um, with some people I will, but you know, you got to do some of the work yourself too. There are lots of groups where you can get a ton of information. So far, it's staying good. So check out Facebook. There's a wealth of information there. Library, the internet, but be careful with what you use there because there are some crazy people out there. And a lot of times when I'm asked, well, where did you get that color? I usually have no idea. Um, I have a few of my favorite suppliers that I use, only a few that I will buy from. But I mix and match until I get the color that I want 95% of the time. And usually when I make soap one day, when I make it again, it's totally different because I don't pay attention to my exact color schemes or what I'm using when or how because that's just how I create. It's part of my creative process. I want to have some freedom to change things up as I go. Let's do... So it is thickening a little bit, but it's still very workable. I think if I pour quickly, I'm going to be just fine. I don't remember what I did next. I think I did this one. I'm just going to pour this down the side. Whoop. Literally down the side. Brilliant. I hate it when I do that. It's just annoying. It's so hard to get the soap out. And I know I could use tape. I'm not really paying attention to the camera because this is thickening up and I want to make sure I'm able to get my hanger in here before it's too late. I 
actually think it's going to be perfect consistency for what I'm wanting to do here. love this blue. Blue is my favorite color. They say you can tell uh, a person's favorite color by looking in their closet. If you look in mine, there's no doubt what my favorite color is. 90% of what I own is blue. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, I'm going to attempt this again. I have no idea what that's going to look like, if it's going to look like anything. But I just stuck it in and didn't even think about it this time. So hopefully, at least one of my soaps will look pretty. And look like a swirl and not a garbled mess. But we'll see. And you know, even if it doesn't, it's still awesome soap, if I do say so myself. I've tried many other soaper soaps. I like to buy other products from other soapers just to see um, and to compare. Um, and I certainly have some favorites, but I, I'm, I'm so happy with my recipe and formula. You know, I formulated it for my family specifically, and I guess it kind of sounds a little conceited, but... I think you should be proud of what you do and passionate about what you do, even if it does sound conceited. Um, and if you're not, then you need to do something else. I'm very passionate about what I do. I love what I do. I've been playing with some new products, making some new things. I don't know when I'll have to, well, and I'll be rolling them out. I'm not going to talk about what they are yet. some things in the works here. I have a lot going on with the family right now. So that's going to come first. Some of the some of my plans are going to be put on the back burner for a bit. Oh, I could have planned my top differently. Oh well. Could have done a, like a Taiwan kind of thing. Oh well, I'll do a swirl instead. A lot of white left. I think I knew that though, didn't I? That I had a lot of white. Oh well. So I already have several shows planned, um, and I'm really, I'm cutting back this year. I'm not going to do as many markets or as many shows. I've committed to one market. Uh, I will announce that on my website soon. Um, it's already done. Um, and I'm just, I'm just going to stick to that market this time because Otherwise, I find I get burned out having to set up and tear down um, four or five times a week is exhausting, especially when I'm I'm dragging the kids around with me. So it's not easy on them either. We we all by the end of the week are um, you know, couch potatoes, and I don't want to do that this year. I want to make sure that we're we have a lot of quality family time and I have time to keep the books updated which 
I tell you, I didn't last year, and I'm paying for that right now. Holy cow. When I first started soaping, I had no intention of turning it into a business because I don't like the business side of things. But I love sharing what I do so much. And I, I fall in love with, I mean, it, it allows me to continue soaping by selling it. So it is a, a you know, price to pay, and that's okay. But I just have to learn how to make the business side of things easier for me next year, this year. And I will. I'm really happy with the fragrance this time. I was so worried. No need to be. I'm trying to drag some of this darker blue through. Let's see if I can get any more out of here. Probably not enough to even matter. Not really. a little bit of glitter. So this is Hydra and it'll be cured around February 20th, 2015. I'm available on my website, stargazersoaps.com. This one does go very quickly, so if it's one you're interested in, I would suggest uh, keeping your eyes peeled. I will try to get it up on pre-order. I haven't been successful with that lately. Um, just too busy, so no promises there. But keep your eyes peeled. And don't go anywhere because I will attach the cutting video right behind this one. Okay, here is Hydra. I apologize for the lighting. It is um, a very bright day today. And because the sun sits low on the horizon in the winter time here, uh, it, it pretty much shines right in your face. So. Let's see what we have here. I love the way this one smells. It's a little bit of a swirl on that side, not so much on this side, but my hanger tool doesn't go all the way across my mold. So not a whole lot of definition on this one. I actually think the batch that I just did was more successful in the swirl than this one was. But, oh, it's still pretty cool. I'm going to have to play with uh, my hanger and swirling and See if I can come up with something that I'm comfortable with and I like. This is a pretty one. See that? I hope that is focused for you. Let's see. It's really hard to see. Probably could have uh, used more colors in the center. But that is okay. And this soap will be uh, available on my website around February 20th, 2015. Stargazersoaps.com shows will be starting soon. This is a very, very, very fast seller, so keep your eyes peeled. Don't know if I will have it up for pre-order or not. I have a lot going on with family right now, and that's going to come first. So, um, anyway, keep an eye online, stargazersoaps.com. Thanks for watching.